Hey, peace, love, and light, Scorpios. Welcome to the First Eye Visions channel. This is going to be a reading for our beloved Scorpios. Welcome to all of you who may be new. My name is Q, and I am also a Scorpio. I am clairaudient, and I do incorporate music into the readings, and they tend to blend beautifully. Um, this is a general reading for you all. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This will also be a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. I will that you all are enjoying your Saturn day and that you're all blissed. I had a beautiful day. I did a lot of work on my shop, added some new items and um, just, you know, spent a lot of time, quality time with the star seeds. So the energy is uh, kind of winding down. And I said, you know what? Let me uh, check the temperature for Scorpio. See what's coming in, going out, going on. Um, right now we have weather report. Um, and this song is called Morning Lake. So uh, I feel like there's a sense of purification, detoxification, cleansing, purging, releasing. Um, that's perfect for this time, you know, especially during this Mercury retrograde slash full moon energy, even though we're on, you know, we're in the shadow uh, part of the full moon. It's still very, you know, very uh, powerful. It's still very impactful at this time. And so I think that you all are utilizing this time to uh, do some deep dives. You know, many of you may be... Um, you know, visiting lakes as a way to release, as a way to connect, uh, because that is your element. You know, some of you may be taking spiritual baths, uh, as I said, just to, you know, purge, clean, clear, cleanse your energy, detoxify your spirit. Um, so we're going to tap in, tune and see what's coming and going out, going on. Uh, before we delve into the reading, I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. And I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, Baba Orula, Mama Yemenya, Baba Alegua, and Mama Oshun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I also call upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, and Archangel Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards so that I may be able to be a clear channel for our beloved Scorpios. I also call upon these beautiful guides, deities, animal totems, earth mother guide to protect this message for Scorpios. Give us a very protected message. So, and look at this, spiritual baths. So you all, um, definitely, I just mentioned spiritual baths, so you all very well may be uh, taking this time to cleanse. Um, and so the spiritual baths, it says, spiritual baths are necessary, sea salt, egg cleanse, and Florida water. So maybe intuitively you all knew that there was some sort of residual energy that you all needed to purge off of you. So you all have been doing, you know, doing this, uh, this spiritual cleanse of your soul, of your spirit. Um, I feel like uh, the divine wants me to tell you, you know, give you some jewels. Uh, you could use hyssop. Hyssop is a very powerful um a very powerful herb uh, to incorporate in your cleanses. It's actually referenced um, in the Bible. You can find it in the scriptures. Um, so definitely, if you can, you know, find uh, some hyssop herbs, that would be really good to add to your sea salt or you know to your Florida water when you do um, take your spiritual baths. So let's delve and dive and go deep. For our Scorpios. Look at that. You all are money. Looking like money. Spelling, smelling like money. You definitely got your mind on your money. I feel like a lot of you are coming in to some sort of abundance. You're experiencing some change financially. And this is a powerful change. This message has been very consistent. 
um, you know, throughout your reading, Scorpio. So I do feel like even if some of you have not received this, I feel like because this message has been showing up so frequently, so often, it is coming, beloveds. So the best thing you can do is continue doing whatever it is you're doing now because patience is a form of action. So continue working towards your goals, continue mastering your crafts, continue staying focused, continue keeping your eyes on the prize because there will be some sort of success at the end of the road for you and it's coming in quickly i also feel like with this spiritual bath i feel like um something or someone could have been blocking your blessings so perhaps the divine is telling you it's time to cleanse because remember we just had um you know um the weather report playing uh, morning river or something like that. And that was the first word that came out was purification, cleansing and taking spiritual baths to purge, you know, your energy. And so maybe someone has done something, you know, towards you to block your bliss and thwart whatever plans you have for your, you know, yourself in terms of your success. So that's a very important um, message right there. So right now we have lots of signs. Um, and this is by Tenor, Tenor Saw, Lots of Signs. So maybe you all are um, picking up on some signs that you may have secret admirers. Uh, it says secret admirer loves what they see. So someone is going to come in and I feel like somebody's really successful. Whoever this is, they might be very, very abundant. Like I'm hearing queen, uh, queen pin, king pin, um, somebody who's like going to be very, very intricate in, you know, providing security like this is like that man's man that woman's woman like this is someone who knows how to keep house very domestic very resourceful very practical and with this song lots of sign i feel like this person is going to show you um you know they're, they're, they're right now they're they're kind of you know behind the scenes watching you but i feel like when they do decide to come in they're going to show you um that they care and they may spend money on you they may pay for trips they may take you out to eat they may take you on you know extravagant you know trips or whatever uh because this person is kind of i'm hearing they made for money they got a lot of money so it's nothing to them to go pot, buy a ticket you know uh, international flight or something like that and I feel like there's gonna be lots of signs maybe you're receiving lots of signs that someone is coming in or some you've caught the eye of someone but there's gonna be lots of signs that um, you know this person is really digging on you really feeling you so let's tap in tune and see what's coming in going out going on with our beloved Scorpios bottom of the deck so we have infinite possibilities. Keep your eyes. It says keep your head to the sky and keep trying. You got this. So that's beautiful. So when you have infinite possibilities, that's hope. You know, that's optimism. You know, this is not giving up. This is, is doing exactly what I said before. By keeping your eyes on the prize, you know that, you know, your, your, um, that you know that staying consistent is going to garner the results. So this is about, you know, working towards your goal and not getting distracted. I don't care if things didn't work out for you in the past. Um, something is definitely going to blossom from your hard work. I feel you also with this infinity um, reference. I feel like a lot of you have been doing a lot of healing, a lot of deep diving. You've been doing a lot of introspective work um, and you've been really you know, focused on healing yourselves. And because you've been in that process of like transmuting whatever negativity, there's some wish fulfillment that could be coming in. And with this trinity here, you know, the Ankh is the symbol of life. And this represents woman and the phallus is this part here and these are the children. So I feel like this trinity, there's going to be some sort of family. And this is like a dream or a wish or some of you just calling in a soulmate. And I feel like you're going to have some sort of family dynamic. This is going to birth a lot of life. I feel some of you may be pregnant with child or some of you may have um, a potential pregnancy in the future with someone. But I feel like for a lot of you, because you've remained resilient, because you've persevered through a lot of negativity and healed at a soul level, I feel like the divine is saying that hope and that optimism that you held on to, that strength that you leaned on is now going to garner some sort of you know some sort of love ship that is going to result in this family dynamic the trinity trinity represents man woman and child and remember we had um the signs and that was um playing 
by Tenor Saw. So right now we have Finding My Way Back by Jaheen. So um, perhaps this is somebody you know from your past. And I'm hearing very loudly, not an X. See that? So synergy is here. And it says, I am drawn to you. So someone definitely is some sort of wish fulfillment. I don't know if there was a connection that you had with someone, Scorpio, where the connection may have unfortunately, and it's not even unfortunately because everything happens in divine time, but I feel like the timing of the connection in the past, um, it just wasn't the right timing. So there was more work that both of you may have needed to do on yourselves so that when you do come into union, you can bring the best parts of yourself into this connection. I feel like whoever this person is, it's almost like when you first met this person, there was this instant connection, this instant chemistry. There was a synergy. There was this, this like, it was almost like you didn't even need to speak words, but you felt very deeply um, this strong connection with this person. And I feel like because that, that secret admirer card came out, I feel this person is watching you. I feel like, and they're watching you from the sidelines. And I feel like, as I said, with this song, Finding My Way Back, this person is definitely trying to find a way to come back into your life. And I feel like this may be your wish fulfillment because you have infinite possibilities. Keep your head to the sky and keep trying. So maybe this is a connection that you all are going to be able to have a second chance, you know, and it's because, as I said, maybe that initial start was not your time and it wasn't the divine timing because maybe the two of you were bringing baggage. And if it's a spiritual union or a connection, the divine wanted you all to you know unpack or get rid of the baggage you know what I'm saying before you come into union but I'm getting a sense of like twin flame energy soulmate energy um but there's a powerful powerful connection and this person feels drawn to you like a magnetic pull um so with this incubus succubus energy maybe this person is releasing some sort of um you know some sort of connection that they were bound to um you know and this is probably what happened in the past where there was some sort of confusion between your connection with this person um because someone came in between and maybe they confused lust for love and with this incubus succubus energy that's like an energy vampire but they use sex as a weapon they use sex as a means to you know um to seduce, uh, they use sex as a means to, you know, um, to take, you know, to render some sort of control. And so, you know, this energy is, you know, very much someone who's kind of like, um, this is a very promiscuous energy. This is someone who could literally have sexual addictions, but I feel like someone got pulled into some sort of incubus succubus dynamic. And I feel like that's why they're trying to find their way back to you because they're trying to unbind themselves. They're bound to this connection or they're bound to this person some way, but they're still, you know, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually drawn to you because there's the synergy and the divine is telling you, keep your head to the sky. So maybe there's this sense that this person is like holding on to hope and that's why they're watching you you know from a distance or you know maybe even from you know the background that you know they're watching you and holding on to some sort of hope maybe you all are picking up on that intuitively that this person watches you or that this person's thinking of you um but we shall tap in and see what's going on and so we have quiet, um, quiet niggas by Nas. So yeah, this person is very quiet. Um, I feel like the two of you are not in communication, which is why they're um, admiring you from a distance, admiring you, you know, behind the scenes, uh, because there was some sort of disconnect in the past. And I feel like with quiet niggas playing, part of my language, but um, that's the name of the song. Um, so how about we say quiet naggas, negus? We'll say quiet negus. So. Um, Perhaps with that energy, um, this person is kind of hush right now. They're really hush, but they are going to eventually uh, make their way to you because Jaheem was just saying, finding my way back to you. But they're trying to find their way back to you by, you know, unbinding themselves from some sort of incubus, succubus energy. Um, I feel like this person definitely has a lot of remorse um, for not choosing you. Um, and I feel like, you know, there's this, it says they see now the role they played. So maybe in the past, like I said, 
said um, this person may have may not have been honest about you know maybe a connection they were involved in or even the fact that they may have been like um, you know dating around had options they may have made you feel like you know you was just one of many um, maybe they didn't really take the time out to really nurture or um, you know cultivate uh, a stronger connection maybe they enjoyed having options um, you know whatever this incubus succubus energy is like I said someone could have even confused um, you know the lust for love so let's tap into it but the, this person is very quiet, very hushed right now. Um, so divine spirit, eleven night. What else we got for Scorpios? What's coming and going out and going on with our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit? What's coming and going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. See, they was playing a lot of childish games. So this is someone who could have been, you know, kind of flighty, you know. And they, I'm hearing emotionally immature. You know what I'm saying? So they weren't really in tune with their own emotions. I feel like, you know, because the connection could have potentially been so strong, it kind of scared them. That's why they're quiet now. That's why they're trying to find their way back because they feel like, you know, whatever whatever they did in the past, there is remorse because we did see that remorse. Um, and, and maybe some of y'all caught somebody in a lie and you called them out on it. And so you felt like they was being childish. You felt like they was being dishonest. But I feel like with this child's play, they were playing a lot of games manipulative games, emotional, emotionally manipulative games. Um, you know, they weren't being as honest and transparent as you would have hoped. I feel like you was a straight shooter with them and you expected the same back. But the divine is reminding you like infinite possibilities. Keep your head to the sky and keep trying. So I feel like regardless of what transpired, a lot of you, you know, you didn't allow it to break you. You know, I feel like it disappointed you initially, but you stayed focused. You healed from that. You transmuted whatever disappointment, anger, resentment, and you transmuted it into something that's like really magical and powerful for you right now. But I feel like there's still this strong connection, this strong chemistry, and this person feels drawn to you. So even though you two may not have been in communication, I feel like this person, as we saw, they're watching you. They're a secret admirer. So this person has watched you literally grow, transform. They've watched you heal. You know, they've watched you come into balance. But their games, their immaturity, I feel like they're ashamed, you know. And that's why they're quiet, but I feel like they've grown up, you know, with this, you ain't got to lie. Yeah, you definitely block them. Just like I said, there's no communication and you block them because I feel like you as being your authentic self. Look at that and guilty conscious. I can't eat, baby. I can't sleep without you in my life. So this person has come to some sort of realization, you know, just how, how powerful the connection was with you. And we do see that with synergy there. You know, so this person definitely got caught up in some sort of lie with you ain't got to lie, Craig. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so you blocked them once you realized this person was being dishonest and they weren't being genuine with you because, you know, Scorpios do not do liars. You know, they don't do none of that. That if once they catch you in a lie, it's a it's a rizzy rap. And I feel like that's what you all did right now. We have um, cameo candy. You know, so yeah, who eats candy? Children. So they was playing a lot of games. But I do feel like, you know, I'm hearing they're sweet on you. You know, they, they, they you know, it's like they're addicted to you in a sense. And that's in a good way. It's not like something creepy or something, you know, toxic. It's like they, they, they they're sweet on you. You know, I feel, I'm feeling like there's, there was, you know, some real strong um, dynamic that the two of you, you know, maybe y'all shared a lot of. Um, the same interests, maybe y'all like the same music, enjoy the same movies. Look at that. This came right back out. You ain't got to lie, Craig. So you definitely, you know, you realize this person was playing a lot of games. But I also feel like, you know, they they had, um, you know, they were really distracted by um, a lot. You know, because when you think of candy, it gets you all, you know, kids, when they eat candy, what do they do? They get all kind of energy. They start running around acting a whole goddamn fool. And that's literally what this person started doing with all the options in love. That incubus succubus energy, like I said, that was literally someone who put the veil over their eyes. And they thought maybe that they were in love when it was lust. You know what I'm saying? Even when you eat too much candy, it makes you sick. You know what I'm saying? So too much of anything definitely isn't a good thing. You know, so it's not good. So I feel like whatever they had, it's like now they come into this realization, like, you know, because what they're saying is like, you know, they can't stop thinking about you. 
So no matter what they had, it still doesn't measure up to you. So they was out there playing the field. And there's a confirmation the train is going. Yeah, so this is message. So. <laughs> that's a long lean on the horn, right? So that was confirmation, double confirmation. Good Lord. Is somebody on the train tracks parked? Like, what are they doing out there? But yeah, so this you caught this person in a, in a lie, probably several. And um, you was just asking for this person. It's like, yo, how we go from having this like really dope connection, really dope, you know, bond to you playing games. I feel like I said, like y'all was being straight shooters. You was like, you was very transparent. And then you discovered this person was playing a lot of games. But I feel like it was a lot of emotional games because they didn't want to really tell you what they had going on on the side because they were trying to keep their options open. And I feel like, you know, the divine is telling you, it says, you will know, trust your inner gumption. And so that's what you all did. I feel like y'all literally just, you know, followed your intuition on the situation and knew that ultimately, you know, if somebody just suddenly changed, it's because somebody else was in the picture. It was because someone could not like divvy out their time in the same way. So they had to start, you know, um, cutting time with you because now they got somebody else in the picture or they got other dates or other situations that they don't, you know, that they, um, that they, you know, set up with someone else. But with this, you will know if this person does come back, you know, I feel like, you know, you're going to know exactly what to do. It says crazy deranged caution. And it says, accept the apology you never receive, um, received and take your power back now. So I feel like, you know, with this person, I feel like you'll know what to do. Maybe this person is dealing with someone who is very crazy and deranged you know because when you are trapped in some sort of incubus succubus energy that's like literally some sort of sexual demon and so they do become very possessive they do become very obsessive and so i feel like with you you know maybe this is why this person is kind of playing the background because they're trying to figure out how to get out of that connection you know, and I feel like with you, you're going to know if this person is coming back with the same old, same old, if they're coming back being honest. But this person may be tied to some sort of crazy, deranged, you know, individual who's very like, who's very um, controlling, overbearing. I feel like for you all, that's what you all did. This person may not have ever like, you know, fixed their lips to literally say the words, I apologize. So I feel like, you know, you all had to, you know, go into that healing mode. Y'all had to become that star and y'all had to, you know, learn to balance your own emotions so that you could find equilibrium again. Because I feel like this person may have thrown you off balance, you know, because you wasn't expecting the games. You wasn't expecting this person to lie because there was this, this beautiful synergy, this beautiful connection. You know, y'all was drawn to one another. So it's like it went from, you know, really hot and passionate to like cold. And it was because, like I said, they had some sort of incubus, succubus energy reeling them in. Somebody could have put some sort of spell work on them, love spell, which could have completely derailed the connection with you. So let's see. And with um, Candy, like I said, I do feel like, you know, this person was uh, very sweet on you and they still are. So what else we got coming in, going out, going on for Scorpio's uh, spirit, love, and light? So it says, your love is one in a million. See that? Can't make this up. This person definitely is feeling very strongly about you and always have. I feel like once they went out there to see what was out there, they realized there was nothing like you. Because this synergy, that's not something you fake. You know what I'm saying? When you have good sex, yeah, it's exciting in the first, in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real passionate. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? But when somebody is needing more, like if you're dealing with a, a with someone on a spiritual level, when you make love to that person, it's it's deeper than just the sex, the passion. And I feel like when somebody's dealing with an incubus, succubus energy, it's all about just the sex. But once they finish having sex and engaging in sexual activities, I feel like that person felt drained. I feel like that person probably realized that whoever they was dealing with was also very deceptive because the incubus succubus energy, they ain't just having sex with that one person. They're literally like they're having sex with multiple people because they use sex as a weapon. They use sex as, you know, some sort of leverage to get what they want. And so they may have realized this person they was dealing with was very immature. They had no substance. But you, on the other hand, no one can match what you bring to the table. No one can match what you provide. 
spiritually, emotionally. I feel like this person definitely felt stimulated by you mentally. And right now we have um, down. And this is by Dead Prez. So they feel like you're down. You know what I'm saying? You're down for the cause. You're down for the ride. Like you, you know what I'm saying? You will ride till the wheels fall off. You'll pull over on the side of the road and help them put new wheels on that bitch. Like they know you're down. They know that you're real. You're for real. Your love is one in a million. And whoever they're dealing with, they feel like they're lying to themselves dealing with this childish, you know, low vibrational shit because what they're looking for is something that's going to feed and nurture their soul, their spirit. And who better than Scorpio to do that? Because Scorpios are very intense, very passionate, very loving, very nurturing. And you're honest. You mean what you say and you say what you mean. And this person now... They're going through some sort of emotional roller coaster ride. I feel like they also realize they may have put you on a roller coaster ride, which is why they're feeling that remorse. They re definitely um, are looking back and in, in reflection. You know, they're reflecting back on their actions. They're reflecting back on how childish, how immature they was acting. And I feel like you know, with um, and we have red pillar cotton. This is red pillar featuring Cambada, um, cotton to profit. And um, so, yeah, they definitely they definitely are feeling like you are you are someone that can like they can they feel anchored wherever they are. But I do feel like, you know, they know with you, they can definitely build something real. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going through a lot emotionally and they're getting these downloads that whoever they're tied to and dealing with is is definitely not on their frequency i feel like i said you know they initially you know thought that that it was love but it was lust and they you know it was exciting in the beginning but it isn't anymore you know this person is taking them on an emotional roller coaster ride and it's because whoever they're dealing with is, is absolutely out of their fucking mind so they're dealing with somebody who doesn't have all their marbles and they're trying to be cautious they're getting a lot of downloads that it's time to you know cut this tie you know, but remember that incubus succubus energy, it was, you know, written in a way where there's an X. So that means there's blockages. So it's like this person's trying to keep them bound to them. So for whatever reason, this person may be codependent on, you know, whoever this is that is feeling a strong connection towards you. But they know it's time to let this situation go. They know it's time to let, you know, to to go after what it is they truly want because they know that your love is one in a million and they know there's no one else out there that can match it. None of those options that they was initially, you know, playing you for, they, they realize now, you know, that it wasn't even worth it, you know, and they know that they know they don't have to lie to themselves no more. You know what I'm saying? They don't want a lot of themselves no more. They ain't trying a lot of themselves no more. They realize they're dealing with somebody that's not on their frequency, somebody that's immature. And I feel like here with pay increase, lucrative business deals, this is a message that has been coming out a lot for Scorpios. So a lot of you, y'all are finding yourselves receiving some sort of wish fulfillment. And it's because a lot of you definitely persevered through a lot. You healed, you transmuted negativity, and you learned to co-create. You didn't get distracted um, or even discouraged, I should say. You didn't get discouraged by, you know, failed relationships or failed friendships. You know, I feel like you used that, that those failures, you used that pain, and you turned it into power, literally. You know, when people was doubting you, you loved that because you was able to prove every single one of them wrong. And I feel like this person is now seeing you in a completely different light. They see you as very stable, very self-sufficient, very independent. This person also knows that you are taking the time to love yourselves. And when you start loving yourselves, you become more attractive because self-love makes you more attractive. And so I feel like with this selfish love of me, myself, and I, and enjoying getting to know me better, this is why a lot of you are starting to become, um, you know, you're starting to get the rewards, the recognition, because a lot of you have been healing, you know, on a soul level. You've been breaking generational curses and yokes. You've been purifying your spirit and releasing what no longer serves you. 
and you learn that self-love makes you more attractive. You learn that you had to love yourself first. And so because you've learned that, now there's promotions, there are pay increases, there's opportunities that are coming in. You've you've said I'm done. You you you've you've completed this is like completion. You know, this is completion, but this is now expansion for completing a cycle. You know, so done done, you've let something go that wasn't honoring or serving your highest good. And that's absolutely amazing. So let's see what's going on. I feel like your person is also going to um, release whoever it is that they're attached to. And we got he loves me, he loves me, not games, mind games. Oh, a mixed signal, excuse me. So yeah, they definitely, like I said, was playing a lot of games. And they was not being honest about what was going on. I feel like Scorpios, y'all would have been cool if they said, look, you know, I'm, I'm dating. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is tell us the truth and we good. We good to go. We ain't going to go crazy. It's like, okay, if that's what you want to do, we'll respect that. But I feel like this person didn't do that. What they did was they just did it, you know, and then they would lie about it. And you caught them in several lies. And so we have emotional intelligence, attentive, affectionate, loving, protective, honest, communicative, loyal, transparent. This person definitely sees that these are your attributes and characteristics, which is why they feel that your love is one in a million, because you bring all of these characteristics to the table. And whoever they was dealing with was liars and they were immature. So now they're looking at things in retrospect and realizing that you was a gem. You was a rare breed. You know, most women out here aren't bringing that to the table. It's according to whatever they was dealing with, you know, they weren't used to a woman who was cooking a meal every night. They was used to somebody talking like, can you take me out to dinner? Let's go get some shrimp and lobster. Some of you men wasn't used to a female saying, look, you, I got the gas. Don't worry about it. You just, you just paid for the meal. You just bought the groceries. I'll pay for the gas. I'll fill the tank up. You know, that's called reciprocity. And they see that with you. You're emotionally intelligent. Whereas this other person they was dealing with, they was just using sex. The only commonality or the only thing they had in common was sex. And then it got to the point where that was even becoming boring. It was becoming a chore. I heard the word a chore because a incubus succubus energy literally drains your energy. It's an energy vampire, a demonic en energy vampire. It leeches and sucks the energy out of you. How can that be fun? <laughs> And so we have deceptive, trichnology, the illusionist, be very, very weary, can't be trusted. So this person now, I feel whoever you're, you were, you know, whoever this individual is that's trying to make their way back to you, they, they realized somebody was very deceptive. They realized that somebody was not who they said they were. They were putting on a facade. They were pretending. And that's pretty much what, you know, like I said, that incubus succubus energy will put on a veil. They will they will put the veil over someone's eyes. You know, this is someone that will seduce, you know, lure someone in to render them, you know, incompetent. Because most people know, especially men, like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but y'all, when it comes to sex, like y'all will turn into straight idiots if somebody throws ass at you. It's just ridiculous. There's no self-control there for some of you. Let me not, let me not generalize and, and lump all of you up. But most men will literally, and, 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 and it doesn't even have to be, a, they, there doesn't even have to be attraction or anything. But you will allow a woman to literally just, you know, get you caught up in some sort of sexual rendezvous and you ain't even really feeling them. And then after you do it, you like, ill. And then it, you have to resort to blocking and, and, and playing games. And, you know, it, it's just like you're avoiding, <laughs> not answering calls, ghosting. It's like, why go through that? But it's because there's some women out here that you know, knows that sex, you know, is definitely like a way to seduce. And they will do that to get what they want. But somebody's realizing they're waking up to the fact that there was some sort of... Um, some sort of um, deceptive energy they were dealing with. And I feel like for you, you all were getting mixed signals with this person. And that's why you all initially, you know, kind of blocked this person out, blocked the energy out. And we have right now um, Mad Lib. Uh, we have Mad Lib playing. So let's see what's going on. And I'm trying to see. Oh, it says Curtiba. And it says Medicine Show. 
and it's literally like a just a um, instrumental. So we have no reciprocity, only take, take, take. So we do know that that was the dynamic. You felt like this person didn't really give as much, and maybe they're going through this with this neck, this person they're dealing with. You know, because there, there's this deceptive energy, and you already blocked shit out, and you already said I'm done. So see that I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. So this person wasn't really giving you much in terms of like, you know, their energy. It started off really hot and heavy and then it just kind of fizzled out. And so a lot of you all was just like, I can't I can't do the, you know, the mannequin shit. I, you know what I'm saying? It's like trying to deal with somebody who is, you know, literally emotionless when you are emotionally intelligent and you're dealing with someone who's out of touch with their emotions. That is so taxing and draining. And so, like I said, instead of focusing on that person, focused on yourself and you turned your vulnerability into a superpower, you know, because that infinite possibilities is someone who's not looking at the problem but finding solutions, you know, who's grounding themselves, healing themselves, finding balance within themselves. And this ultimately puts you in, back into harmony. Someone was very toxic, very negative, very low vibrational and this was not you know this definitely wasn't what you initially um what you initially met this wasn't who you initially met so we have toxic behavior see that so that's what you did you you kept your head to the sky because you was dealing with someone who was very toxic and i feel like now what did i say this person is saying you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best so this person from the past whoever this was um, there was a lot of toxicity, dishonesty. We see someone was a liar. They could have been a pathological liar. They could have just been lying for no damn reason at all. I mean, that's literally what a pathological liar does. It's like, you'll be like, what, what color is the sky? And they'll be like, red. You know, just for no reason. Just lying for no reason. It's like, God damn. But there was a lot of toxic behavior. There was something toxic. And I feel like for a lot of you, maybe you all had to learn to you know set a boundary set up your your guard and and also set you know not settle you know maybe y'all allowed somebody to get away with a whole lot of shit you know and so this person was just like pushing the limit until they couldn't anymore but i feel like for you all you turned your vulnerability into a superpower meaning you know however you were treating this person it didn't go unnoticed because you were being your authentic self and so even though that didn't work out, I feel like you never gave up. You stayed resilient. You stayed, you know, focused. You kept your eyes on the prize and you worked on yourself. You healed yourself. You kept your head up. So you didn't hold your head down. You wasn't walking around moping and crying and shit. Maybe initially, but I feel like you transmuted all of that negativity you felt in that situation, all of that disappointment, hurt and emotional loss. And you transmuted all of that into a power, a superpower. And so I feel like with Mad Lib, you know, initially you were mad. I feel like this person also was definitely, um, I feel like, you know, especially with the remorse, you know, this person realizes that, you know, you were upset with them. And that's why they probably, you know, kept their distance and they're watching from a distance, you know, and they're trying to figure out how to come in, how to make their way back to you. Remember Jaheem? Because they know they were toxic. They know that they played the games. They know that they lie. They know you caught them in lies. They know you're intuitive. They know you're emotionally intensive, intelligent, so they know you're highly intuitive. They know you could pick up on energy. They know this about you. And they know that you know that they were being deceptive, that they were playing a lot of games. And so now they're realizing, you know, just how beautiful you are. And this goes along with you. Your love is one in a million and no one can match it. Because like I said, you're unique. You're a rare breed. Scorpios are unlike anyone else. I don't care what nobody self. Yes, I'm biased because I am a Scorpio. But I'm also saying that just the power, the strength, the resilience that Scorpios have. Y'all go through the most shit. And that's why you're Scorpios. Because you literally, you know, you are the conduits of change. And so we have right now um, started something. And this is by Fabulous. So this, this person definitely, like I said before, it was like y'all started a connection and then it just kind of suddenly ended. And this song is called Started Something. So this person started something that they didn't finish with you. And that's why it took you off guard. And it's because there was a lot of red flags maybe that you wasn't paying attention to. Maybe you, you was literally like your head was up in the clouds because it says keep your head to the sky. 
you know, and keep trying. But maybe you was doing that, you know, foolishly. Maybe but you wasn't paying attention to the red flags, you know, with this toxic behavior. There was a lot of things, you know, a lot of things that was going on. And maybe, you know, just that, that controlling energy, trying to control the narrative, change the situation. You know, maybe that's why it didn't, you know, it, it just didn't register. Because you was really hopeful and hoping for the best when you really should have been paying attention to the red flags. But you did ultimately. So why is synergy here? I am drawn to you. And remember, this is um, this is fabulous right now playing, and it's called um, started something. So why is synergy here? Thank you, spirit. See that? There goes the narrative. The grass was greener on the other side because they watered it, and then we have free dome, mind fuckery, and that's clarifying the child's play. So see that? the The storyline is is what it is. So this person definitely was, like we said, now we got, what did I say? We got started something by fabulous. So there was initial chemistry. There was initial uh, a magnetic pull between the two of you. There was a connection that was undeniable. The synergy was real. They were drawn to you magnetically. And it's because there was a soul connection. There was you two, your souls were very much drawn to one another. But this person got distracted by that incubus succubus energy and they entertained that instead. And so while they were entertaining someone else, the connection with you fizzled. So it's they started something initially, but they didn't finish it with you. They just resorted to the child's play because they got distracted. And a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. And that's exactly what they did because they went and watered that artificial, superficial, plastic ass grass instead of watering yours, which could have ultimately grew into a goddamn tree by now. So now we got free dome, no longer trapped, no more mind fuckery. So the games they were playing, all of the illusions, all of the technology, all of the deceptive things they were doing to you, all of the back and forth, in and out, all of the leaving you on red, not responding to your calls, not calling you frequency, not spending time with you, all of that shit, you, you freed yourself from that because you was holding on to this hope because there was this initial connection. So you felt like, damn, it's like, how do we go from having this dope as bond and connection to now, you know, he's resorting to these games. And it's because this person got caught up in some sort of incubus succubus connection with some demonic entity that had them thinking they was in love when it was lust. But you eventually pulled yourself from that energy by freeing yourself from that illusion. And so you said, I'm no more trapped, no more mind fucker. He was no more, you know, in la la land. And you definitely didn't have your head up in in the goddamn clouds no more after that because you started to pay attention to this person's actions uh you know more so than their words and so now we have saigon bring me that back down isn't that very uh <laughs> isn't that interesting bring me back down after i said you had your head up in the clouds so now you're back down to reality and i feel like now you know when someone comes back you're gonna feel like yo you know this person is still keeping things from you being dishonest but i feel like you're you're literally going to you're not giving anyone the benefit of the doubt you want to see action so you're literally your sentiment is it sounds good but and with bring me back down by saigon i feel like you know you want this person to prove with their actions to show um you know with their actions what it is that they're saying because i feel like you already was up in the cloud, you was already on a, a natural high when it came to this person because as we see with the synergy card, there was already this very profound and, and very strong uh, chemistry and connection and then they started playing games. So now, you know, it's going to take a lot for them to convince you that they're coming in, uh, you know, being honest and transparent. Um, this is what you feel. You feel like they're coming in with the same old, same old. And your sentiment is like I said, like, you know, are they playing games with me? Because mind sex could literally be this person could be having like intimate thoughts about you. Um, they could be like literally like masturbating at night thinking about you. Um, but this also could speak to mind fuckery, just like the card says here. No more mind fuckery, free dome, no longer trap. So I feel like that's why you cut this person off because, you know, they, they it's almost like when somebody knows you digging on them and they know you like them, you know, sometimes they could get overzealous. You know, they, they, they could start smelling themselves and feeling themselves a little bit too much. And I feel like with you all, y'all are like, look, don't don't <laughs> you ain't that cute, motherfucker. Like, yeah, you know, I, I, I was feeling you before, but all of this shit, it, it kind of you, you know, what I'm saying there's no there's no brownie points. There's no there's no you ain't got no 
points on the board no more. Like you, you, you at a negative ten right now. So you know, I feel like you're definitely not falling for the okie doke when it comes to this person, and you're not gonna allow them to just come in and um, you know play the same games. So why is you ain't got to lie, Craig? Here for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light. Why is you ain't got to lie here? Thank you, spirit. See that? Because they're gonna be telling you all this sweet little nothings. You know what I'm saying? And remember that song that was saying something about um, check the signs? And that was by Tenor Saw. And so this person is going to be saying, you know, I want to hear your voice again. I miss you. This is what they're feeling. And I love how you love me. You know, so this person definitely, these are the things that they're feeling. And to you, you're not, you don't really know if they're being honest because y'all already had this very profound connection and they fucked all of that up and so now you like you ain't got a lot Craig so they may come back and say these things you know they may come back and say these things and uh, with Beyonce all night I definitely feel like they think about you all night they definitely you know I feel like they really um, daydream or they may find themselves dreaming of you um, and they may tell this to you they may be honest they may you know reveal this to you and I feel like you're not initially going to believe them and we have I'm falling off my game and I messed around and fell in love with you damn and so this person is in love because it says your love is one in a million but I also feel like y'all are not really gonna really believe them because of what transpired in the past and in the heart of the matter is you ain't got a lie Craig you know so I feel like y'all are really not going to be as opened um, you know, as receptive, I should, I should say, to anyone coming back. I feel like you're going to be looking for, you know, their actions to match their words. I feel like this person never has actually, like, said these things to you either. And so remember the divine was saying, um, check the signs. So they are going to reveal to you with their actions, I feel like, because Tenor Saw said check the signs. So I feel like that's what you're going to have to do. And so the divine, I heard the word receptive, be receptive, because this person is is going to, you know, they're feeling this, you know, in their mind, they're, they're this is what they're saying, damn, I want to miss, I want to hear Scorpio's voice again, I miss them. And I love how you love me, content, you know, and it's like, but they know that they messed it up. But they've fallen in love with you, and I feel like they hide what they felt. They, they were hiding it, and I feel like they were running from it initially. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's all ego, you know, it's almost like that fight or flight. And I feel like they got a little, you know, they got a little afraid, to be honest with you. And that's why they, you know, entertained, you know, the less intense connections because it didn't require as much. But with you, it did because when you have a spiritual or soulful connection or soulful dynamic with someone, that's a very intense connection. So this person is fearing rejection. You know what I'm saying? They're fearing rejection because they know that they lied to you in the past. They played games. I feel like they're definitely getting a lot of um, divine interventions, downloads. Remember those those cards showed up during the um, pre-shuffle. And, um, and so with this all right song, I mean all night, I definitely feel like they dream about you. They may receive a lot of, um, you know, messages even in their dreams. But they're fearing rejection. You know, they're fearing your response. They're fearing how you're going to respond to this. Because they do see you as a star. They see you as wish fulfillment. They have literally see you transform into someone new. And they also have acknowledged you taking your power back. They love how intelligent, how emotionally intelligent you are. And that you've put yourself first and foremost. That you are not, you know, allowing someone to steamroll you, control you, manipulate you anymore. Because you've discovered that you are the alchemist. That you are a master manifester. That you are the divine feminine. That you could transmute energy. You put yourself first. This is what strength is. This is what taking your power back is. And this is how they feel about you. They know you're not with the shit. So that's why they're afraid to come in and they're kind of, you know, remember, um, uh, quiet, Neg you know, Negus was playing by Nas. So they're quiet right now because they're trying to, you know, they're trying to strategize a plan how to come in. Um, maybe some of them are up all night, you know, texting messages and then deleting them or, you know, typing up emails and then not sending it or dialing your phone number and not sending the call through because they're, you know, they're literally afraid. And I feel like they're still tied to something also. And they have to clear that up before they come in. So Divine Spirit, why is emotional intelligence here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is emotional intelligence here for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you. See that? 
you knew that you had to protect your energy. Your energy is, you know, that's your power source. That's your field. And you put yourself in a very protective bubble. And you put yourself in a space where you're like, you know, um, that's that do not disturb mode. Like, leave me the alone. Because you was given already initially. And there was no giving back. There was no reciprocity. Remember, take, take, take. And so now you've put yourself in this protective space. So as not to be... You know, so as not to have your energy just kind of drained by every and anything. And so now, you know, this person is fearing rejection if they do come in because they know that you're like in this this bubble where you're like really, you know, loving and nurturing on yourself, taking care of yourself. You're really in a zone where it's all about your mental health, your mental and physical health and wellness. You're not your mental, emotional, spiritual health and wellness. And so they know that they can't just come in with the bullshit. You know, because they know that you love yourself. You're putting yourself first and you're not going to, you know, take too kindly to somebody coming in. See this? They, this is the world card. So this is the transformations, the changes. You have evolved. You've gained a different perspective on life. You know what I'm saying? You've gone through some of the most traumatic experiences, but you've overcome them. That's why you had your vulnerability is a superpower. I feel like you've gained a deeper, more profound understanding and overstanding of life. You've gained a knowledge of self and this person knows that and sees that and that's what they're admiring and that's why they realize like you are emotionally intelligent and because you've gone through all of these changes and because you've had you know so many um so many uh, you know so much growth spurts i feel like now you're you've ascended you know but um you're in a spiritual alignment this is the world card in my deck and you have the sun the moon and the stars here and that also represents the trinity um you know so the sun represents masculine energy and that um, moon energy, of course, is feminine energy. And then the stars are very indicative of your star seeds, your children. And so I feel like this person does feel like, you know, um, that they can have some sort of family dynamic with you, that you are home. There also could be some sort of distance between you and this person. They may never live in another town, another city, even another state, maybe in another country. But I do feel like this person is trying to figure out how to make their way back to you. Um, so divine spirit, why is deceptive trichnology, the illusionist, be very, very weary here? Why is deceptive trichnology, the illusionist? Thank you. So we got a couple of cards. And we have Sade, soldier of love. And that's, that's your energy. You guys are soldiers of love. Love is your language. And look, we got love language that flew out. And then we have success here. And then it says, you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So it says deception, technology, the illusionist, be very, very weary, can't be trusted. And then we have not with the shits here. So I feel ultimately, you know, this person, maybe they were deceptive. Maybe they were deceiving themselves. But I also feel ultimately that whatever they were dealing with, they've learned that that was someone very deceptive, that they were playing a lot of games because they were attached to that incubus succubus energy. I feel like they've ultimately realized you speak their love language and the person that they could be tied to, bound to, attached to doesn't. And that's why they're very weary and they know that they can't trust that past person. All of the cards that came out for you are speaking of love, of speaking of their hidden feelings towards you but this person knows that you speak their love language and it's because there was a synergy a connection a chemistry that is undeniable and i feel like this connection also you know they see you as successful i feel this person is also very successful but they see that you have like somehow built some sort of empire um you have some sort of stability you're independent you're self-sufficient you're self-reliant and i feel like maybe in the past they were de deceiving themselves, feeling like they couldn't have those things with you. Maybe someone, you know, tricked them into thinking that they were something they weren't, you know, because this incubus succubus energy, as I said, they use sex as a weapon. So they may have come off and put on a facade like they had their shit together. They had their ducks in a row. You know, maybe a feminine was making it seem like, you know, they had all of their money um, you know, straight, but you know, when they got with this person, it was like they was living check to check. It was always in their pocket. And so now they're looking at you and they're like, damn, you done built an empire all on your own and who they left you as you're no longer that person. You've literally, you know, matured, you've grown, you've gone through major changes and they know that you're very protective of your energy. Whoever they're dealing with, 
I feel like, you know, somebody is come connected with some sort of low vibrational energies and entities. And I feel like this person is really feeling regret and remorse for pushing you away because whatever they're attached to is just very chatty patty and young. This is young energy. Gossiping and wasting your breath and energy talking about other people is the most ridiculous shit you could ever do. And this is what they've bound themselves to and they're knowing you know ultimately that you're not with the shit you're not with that young shit they're sorry for pushing you away they miss you scorpio you are the one they miss but they're attached to this low vibrational dark energy here and so the deception technology the illusion is i feel like they're waking up they're starting to get because with this pay attention to the signs I feel like this person now is getting beat over the head with the truth. And the truth of the matter is, whoever they're with does not have the same attributes, characteristics that you have. Which is emotional, intelligence, attentive, affectionate, loving, protective, honest, communicative, loyal, and transparent. Who they're bound to is a deceptive trick, trickology uh, expert. <laughs> Let's just call them that. And the illusionist. So someone who plays a lot of games, the magician is a very, you know, that's, that's someone who uses manipulation to get what they want. And that's what they are dealing with. And they're like, literally like, how the hell did I get myself in this situation? So let's get some tarot cards. We're going to, um, not tarot, I'm sorry, some oracle messages. So divine spirit, let's see, we're going to pull some messages from the goddess guidance deck. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, we have inner wisdom. So that's what the divine was telling you to trust your inner wisdom, trust your, you know, your, your, trust your intuition. Like don't, don't give anybody the benefit of the doubt. Trust what you feel and know intuitively because the answers you seek are found within. So if you got to take a moment, a pause, you know, to go within, you know, then do so. But you, you don't have to take anybody back with from face for face value. You got prosperity here, abundance here. So we already see that there's a lot of, um, you know, abundance coming in, wish fulfillment because you have this infinite possibility. So I feel like there's better days ahead for you. Many of you are uh, counselors. Some of you could be social workers. Some of you could be teachers. Some of you could just literally be very protective of your children and really nurturing their emotional, spiritual and their um, mental health right now, taking care of them and uh, healing them. And I feel like your strength is definitely a foundation, um, you know, for your independence. So let's tap into it. That's why you were able to stand erect because you took your power back. So the bottom of the deck, we have guiding children. So that's beautiful. And remember, we did have that Trinity card um, show up. So a lot of you are really... Um, you know, really nurturing, caring for your babies. You know, a lot of you could be counselors, like I said, helping to heal children from their traumas, you know, and you're using your skills to help heal children. Some of you could be going to school to become counselors, to become social workers, uh, to become, you know, some sort of um, maybe even um, psychologist, child psychologist, you know, but you're doing something rooted around children. You got infinite supply. So this is powerful because the divine is assuring you that you're always going to have. You're, there's nothing that you need to worry about because you will always be supplied for. All of your days ahead will be supplied for. And so it says you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. And that's why you have that success card. You know, so there's a reward. And we have this beautiful song by Curtis Mayfield, The, um, the Makings of You. So these are the makings of you, you know, by someone, you know, oftentimes, like I said, when you are the conduits of change, people come into your life for you to transmute whatever negativity that they are reflecting back to you, that they are mirroring back to you. And I feel like that's what this is here with this infinite possibilities. Keep your head to the sky and in the toxic behavior, someone definitely held a mirror to you as to what you were, you know, accepting, you know, and even as what you were maybe even exhibiting. You know, but you have to know your own worth and value. So we have here boundaries. Look at that. You've set healthy boundaries and you've learned to stand in your power to demand your respect, you know, and we have love yourself enough to say no to others. And that's what you did. So you said, no, you're not going to play these stupid mind games. You're not going to be in and out of my life. And you're not going to keep me on pause while you go play with your little incubus, succubus toys. 
So you got past life. This could definitely involve a past life connection, which is why there's this deep and strong synergy, chemistry, connection, you know. So this could involve a past life love connection. And I feel like that's why it's been so hard to, you know, maybe release this person energetically or them you. And then we have Ma'at, fairness. So a lot of you definitely, Mama Ma'at knows everyone's address. So this is all about, you know, making sure to do things fairly and justly. And I feel like for you all, like I said, you didn't focus on the problem, you focused on the solution. And you knew ultimately you had to work in on you. You had to heal you. And so because you did that and you didn't turn into some petty, toxic, low vibrational person cussing, hollering, screaming, screaming and becoming obsessive, you just let them go. You let them fly on. I feel like that's why there's, you know, some sort of positive things happening, you know, the success and the infinite supply and the abundancy and the prosperity because you're being rewarded. It says this situation will be handled fairly and justly. So even if there is some sort of karmic or some sort of incubus, succubus energy that came in to distract your person or to even reflect to them who they were, what they were, you know, the, the behaviors they were exhibiting, I feel like there's going to be some sort of uh, karmic justice in the end. And we have, um, we have um, Only Girl Playing, and this is by the internet. And so we have uh, Medicine Woman. Many of you are very psychic, intuitives. A lot of you definitely discovered during this time of healing. Like I said, when you, you know, ground yourself and heal yourself, and you learn that you are able to co-create with source you tapped into some sort of energy that allowed you to become a healer and that could be why and how you're guiding children how you're counseling children you know through their pain through their trauma and this is you know what you're literally tapping into now you are a channel for divine healing and power which is why a lot of you are discovering that you have some sort of gift or some sort of passion um helping children and I feel like you learned your worth with, you know, because what he says is, girl, um, um, what does he say? Girl, they don't know of your worth. So this person didn't know your worth. They didn't see your value initially. And now they do. Girl, they don't know of your worth. So that's what this person, they didn't know your worth initially. And like I said, when somebody gets distracted, you know, by low vibrational energy, you know, maybe this person was also, like I said, you know, they were, they were carrying around baggage and they were being superficial and immature. And now they're coming out of that. You know, they're, they're breaking free from the illusion, it seems like, because they're starting to recognize, um, you know, the characteristics and attributes that they initially was drawn to when they met you. And with this wisdom card, you've learned a lot. This wisdom represents all of the lessons you've learned, all of the skills you've mastered on your spiritual journey. You know, you've gone through enormous change and you've literally had to become the conduit of change um, from all of this negative, toxic energy that was being thrown at you. But I feel like with this wisdom card, there are two owls. And so I feel like this person also had to learn their, you know, learn their lessons along the way. And I feel like there will be some sort of communication and you may not even expect it, you know. I feel like this person's been hiding, you know, feelings, emotions, and that's why all of this energy here are things that they're saying. They could be communicating to you telepathically, intuitively, even via your dreams, visiting you in your dreams, like, because they, they, they are feeling all of this, and they're watching you, you know, from the background, you know, and, and, and they're literally being silent, being quiet, but I feel intuitively you know. And you can feel, you can sense that this person is coming in, you know, and I feel like they know you can feel and sense that they were being deceptive, you know, that you're going to be very, very weary of them if they do come in. But the divine is telling you, trust your intuition. They know that you are, you know, very special, especially with this past life. That's why there's this profound, you know, dynamic and connection here. So this is powerful. So we have wisdom and then we have guidance. So a lot of you may be, you know, tarot readers. I know that you're here seeking guidance to, you know, gain just a little more. You know, maybe you're just looking for confirmation for things you already know because you're highly intuitive. So you already know what you know. You just want that little extra cherry on the top. You know, you just want to know like, okay, yes, thank you. Double confirmation for what I already know. 
but I feel like you already have and possess the wisdom. You're already a seer. You could already see the truth. You're already very, very highly intuitive. And you can, you're looking at things from different perspectives. You could see the things that were hidden. And that's why you knew to pull your energy away from this person because they were not being honest. You felt they were very, you know, very much um, being manipulative. And so you're seeking this, you know, the, the guidance, you know, maybe through, you know, tarot reads. Maybe this person is as well. Maybe they're going on you know, some sort of YouTube channel and they're also, you know, seeking some sort of, you know, insight on how to approach you, how to come back in, how to strategize a plan. There could be a lot of cross watchers, you know, but we have here um, unplug. So for many of you, I feel like the divine is saying that some of y'all may need to, you know, take a break from watching tarot reads and just kind of tap into your energy. You know, just kind of like literally just live in the moment, in the now and receive you know, receive confirmation from the divine. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like there's a need to like unplug from like any type of social media, any type of like, you know, online, the phones, like just unplug everything and just, you know, take a spiritual bath, take a nature walk. You know what I'm saying? And just get lost, get lost in your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? But it's time to literally like connect, to ground yourselves, to heal yourselves by, you know, soaking in that, 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 you know, in that na in nature remember you had um river water playing or something like that in the beginning of the reading and so that was also you know a, a, a sign of you know you needing to purify yourself cleanse yourself center yourself ground yourself connect you know so God, spirit, let's see what we got thank you spirit so let's cut the deck In the bottom of the deck, we have connection. So we can't make this up. This is a very profound connection. I feel like a lot of you have connected to yourself, which is why there's going to be more of this attraction towards what you are radiating. When you radiate love and light, you attract others who are radiating on that same frequency and vibration. But I feel like it took for you to connect to yourselves. Many of you may have already like unplugged and took a break. You don't really watch TV. You don't watch, you know, too much of anything. I feel like, you know, maybe from time to time you might tap, in, tap into some sort of, you know, tower reads here and there. But I feel like a lot of you may even, you know, center yourselves and connect with yourselves via yoga, you know, via some sort of, you know, spiritual dance, belly dance, you know. But I do feel like this connection is... Um, it is is it's undeniable i'll tell you that and we have gratitude so be thankful many of you could be finding feathers all over the place and those are signs and synchronicities that your angels are with you they're guiding you and they're letting you know you're on the right path you're doing you know what what's required you know for you to have the happiness the joy you're being true to yourselves you're being your authentic selves and this is also about having that attitude of gratitude, being humble, be giving thanks to your ancestors for all that they do. There's a lot of battles that they win for you that you know nothing about. So give thanks, pay, you know, homage to your ancestors, pour libation, create an altar space, give them flowers, give them food, give them tobacco, light a candle, you know, pay homage to your ancestors, create a sacred space, give thanks. Give thanks because they do so much for you. Even say thank you. Call on them and just say thank you. When you're out in nature, just utilize that time to just take, you know, to, to thank them for all of the battles that they've helped you win. You know, take that time to honor them, to acknowledge them. Attitude of gratitude. And I feel like some of you all are already doing that. We have men of visions. Do things. So do things that are going to show honor and respect to your ancestors. Do things that are going to, you know, show that you have some sort of appreciation, that you are, look what flew right back out. See that? Gratitude. So I feel like you all, you know, definitely are being very gracious. You know, I do feel like that because this is a very happy card. And she's smiling and she's holding her heart chakra so as to say thank you angels, thank you ancestors. So I feel like a lot of you are, you know, doing these things and you're showing a lot of love to your ancestors. And with the do things, 
you know, playing by Men of Vision featuring Missy Elliott, you are doing things. You are connecting more to your guides. You are making it a point to communicate with them, to, you know, let them know that you appreciate them, to speak the names of your ancestors and your deities. So this is beautiful and they know that. A lot of you have taken control of your lives. You're going to be you're going I feel like a lot of you are going to be getting a lot of recognition for something that you do. I don't know if you are, you know, like if you're counselors, if you're going to be like uh self-help counselors, you're going you're just going to be like utilizing your throat chakra a lot. And in the leadership position, I feel like you're going to be helping people, you're going to be kind of helping them on their path, on their journey. Whatever it is you do, you know, this is an energy of someone who is, um, it's like you have, it's almost like you're being in a, you're, you're being chosen, you know, you're being chosen to, you know, help heal others because you are some sort of channeler, you know, so maybe many of you, you know, maybe like I said, like some of you could be. Maybe you, you also read tarot cards. Maybe you are psychic. Maybe you are channelers. Maybe you have some sort of clairaudient, clairvoyant skills or talents and you utilize those gifts. But I feel like whatever it is, like it's you're, whatever you're doing is literally bringing some sort of healing amongst the masses, you know, and people are going to be, you know, really tuning in. And, and, and this is an energy of like power, you know, of, of creativity, of strength. You know, you're standing on firmly on your square and you're being seen as someone who's helping others, as someone who can, you know, help to heal others in some f important way. And there goes that perseverance. You've persevered through a lot, Scorpios. And I was speaking of that, you know, so the resilience and the perseverance is what has brought you to this place of now, you know, having this control you know you you had the world card you had the wisdom card so you've learned a lot on this journey and it's because you've persevered through those difficulties these mountains in the background definitely denote difficulties hardships battles that you've had to you've had to overcome and regardless of this person being you know disabled or quote unquote handicapped there's definitely, you know, this resilience. She's, she's not letting anything stop her from, you know, reaching her goal or finishing the line. It's like I'm hearing the word victory lap. So a lot of you are, you know, coming into some sort of, you know, victory here. And we have Queen singing Bohemian Rhapsody. So you're definitely, you know, you all are being crowned kings, crowned queens. And I feel like you all have definitely... Um, overcome some very hard times, difficult times. So Scorpios, this is your reading. And this was a very beautiful reading. I do feel like somebody is coming in. Um, and I feel like this person is trying to figure out how to approach you because you have changed so much. But they like what they see. And they are definitely, you know, recognizing um, you know, the connection, the bond, the chemistry that you two had was real. And I feel like initially they was afraid of it, afraid of how profound that connection was. So they ran, you know, and um, but I feel like somebody's coming back, you know, because, you know, Jaheen was saying, you know, working back to you or something to that degree, coming back to you. So this is a very powerful and I feel like you're going to have to be open. I feel like you're highly intuitive, so there's nothing they're going to be able to pull, you know, get past you. But I do feel like there's something being, um, you know, the scales are being balanced here. And I do feel like there's, you know, some sort of like divine, you know, timing that is of the essence, you know. And so, you know, with this energy, I do feel like you all will make, you know, a decision, you know, because you all are. Free, you have free will, free spirit, so you do as you must. Many of you, this is not an ex. I feel like this is someone that you knew, someone you had a dope connection, dope bond with, but something, you know, something came in between this, this union. But the chemistry is still there. The synergy is still there. This person is now starting to acknowledge it and admit it because I feel like for a long time they tried to deny it. 
I feel like a lot of you are absolutely and many of you have been inquiring on money and I feel like just stay focused because it's coming. A lot of your readings have been showing prosperity cards, abundance cards, pay increases, promotions, and it's because it's coming. It's, it's already in the frequency. It's already here. It's just you just got to, you know, continue doing what you're doing. You can't control the winds and what, you know, hows. You can just continue doing what you're doing. Be patient and remember that patience is a form of action. So stay busy, stay focused. You know, nothing is just going to happen when you want it. It's going to happen when the timing is right. And whatever you've been praying for, the divine is going to make sure that they give it to you packaged the way that you've asked for it. It's going to be perfect for you. It's not going to just be some easy, quick, fast cash. It's going to be something that you're going to be able to, that's going to sustain you. It's going to like give you some sort of financial freedom where you won't have to live check to check or rob Peter to pay Paul. So you got to be patient for things like that. Let the divine work. It's, it's a magic. You know, but I also feel there's new love coming in. Remember that Trinity card showed up with the unk, the life, and that represents family, that represents life, love, unity. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope that it resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, subscribe to the channel. Definitely hit that bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope that you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I want to also um, just let you all know that next month I'm going to start doing personal readings and I just want to um, refresh you know you all on how I'm going to do this starting off because I don't want to overwhelm myself and I don't want to saturate or water down any messages so I'm going to initially um, do five readings per week so I'm going to do one reading per day uh, so as not to overwhelm myself and underwhelm you with watered down messages so um, we're going to start um, setting that up between this week and next week. Uh, I will update my about section with uh, pricing and all of that other information sometime between now and next week. Um, and I'm very humbled by all of the requests thus far. And I'm going to take them in order as they come. So there's already about five or six requests um, for readings. So I got the first week of October booked already and I will let you all know. Um, and what else we got? Uh, definitely check out my Etsy shop. I have my Etsy shop up and running. I got some really powerful uh, items on there. So I hope that you check that out. Also, I just want to say thank you so much for your donations. They are absolutely appreci appreciated. And I give a lot of love and light to you all. Thank you. This is the gratitude card. I'm very thankful for you all. Very humbled by your acts of kindness. And I just want to say thank you again for tuning and tapping in. And I love you all. I appreciate you all. The channel's growing beautifully. I appreciate y'all leaving comments. As you all know, I love to like interact with you all. And I definitely um, make it a habit to uh, respond to everyone's messages. Um, but I'm sure as the channel grows, it's going to be pretty hard for me to do that. But I will make, you know, some sort of, I will definitely continue to circulate the attitude of gratitude by acknowledging, um, and chiming in on the conversations because y'all be leaving jewels and gems and dropping jewels and gems. And I love the love. I love that you all support one another, look out for each other and encourage each other. That's exactly what I envisioned for this channel. And I just want to say thank you all for tuning and tapping in. I love you all until next time. Ashe.